This is a 26-year-old female who presented for a new seizure-like activity within the left cerebellar hemispheric folia. There is a rounded subcentimeter lesion with hypo-intense signal on the T2, diffusion-weighted images, ADC maps, SWI, and flare-weighted sequences. There is a tiny central focus of intrinsic T1 iso-intense signal when compared to the white matter. The lesion demonstrated no suspicious post-contrast findings on the post-contrast images, which are not shown. There were several additional hypo-intense lesions throughout the supratatorial compartment. These imaging findings are classic for small cavernoma without recent hemorrhage at these sites. MR imaging features of multiple cavernoma include lesions with hypo-intense rims on all sequences best visualized on the SWI images. There may be evidence of peripheral hypo-intensity surrounding into the subjacent gliotic parenchyma surrounding the lesions compatible with peripheral hemocytorin staining. Depending on the presence of recent hemorrhage and the stage of acuity, the more central portion of the lesion will demonstrate variable signal intensity. With larger cavernomas, there may be heterogeneous T1 and T2 signal intensity due to varying stages of hemorrhage. This produces the classic popcorn configuration of a cavernoma. Cavernous malformations may be congenital or acquired, with multiple cavernomas occurring approximately 20% of the time. Acquired cases are usually associated with prior radiation therapy.